Uh, the artwork format was born of, uh, out of an observation. There are places in the world where, where the learning system is lacking a couple of, uh, of items, and notably in, uh, in the art field or the creative field. So uh, it seems to us that if we could provide those young people who want to make a career in those fields with another form of, uh, of learning or another form of knowledge acquisition, because it's not about uh, schooling them. They have schools. It's about exposing them to other forms of thinking, uh, forcing them to think differently, to get out of the box, to think of them in an organic manner, uh, that would help. So uh, after having said that, we needed to come up with, with something, with uh, a tool. And uh, at work, uh, seemed to be the, the best tool for this kind of endeavors. The school is, uh, is providing a certain format. A school means more or less, to make a long story short, four walls. It means a certain relationship between the student and the professor. Uh, through artwork, we wanted to, to get rid of these kind of boundaries and to, to create a system of balance where there's no teacher and there's no student. And there's a kind of a dialogue. A school system always creates a kind of a hierarchy that prevents the student to, to be as free as he could be. There are certain things he cannot say. There are certain taboos. There are certain lessons he has to know. And at the end of the process, there is this graduation. So for artwork, there's no graduation. It's a process. Uh, the goal is just to, well, I may say that, to put them at work. But at work means uh, concretely with their crafts, but also intellectually, like mentally. Uh, because to be an artist is not just to carve some wood or to paint on a canvas. It's also to have a reflection on oneself, on the society that surrounds oneself, and on the world. To be a contemporary artist doesn't mean to be from here or from there. It means to be concerned about whatever is happening. So artwork is trying to not to bring solutions, but at least to make them aware of the amount of questions that are out there and that they are or they will be forced to face one day or another. When I think of a project, I it's always an experiment. And uh, it's good to have an experiment with as many people, an experiment that is lived in group is always better than a solitarian experiment. Um, so when you draw something and then it becomes active, there's always a lot of surprises, there's always a lot of corrections uh, between what we thought in an office or a head and what, what happens practically. So artwork is really a kind of, uh, I would say, kind of a collective psychodrama where, again, there's no master and there's no slave, but they're a group of people thinking together. And then we aggregate teachers or uh, professors or uh, whatever mentors to the process. They force themselves to get out of their own boxes and they're forced to address their own uh, craft in a different manner, their relationship to, to the student, their relationship to, to the learning experience and to, to the sharing of knowledge experience. One, one of the, the aim of, uh, of at work is, is to create a kind of a community. Because I've been, I've been traveling uh, around Africa and, and beyond, and uh, most of the time in the even in the Western country, actually. But around the world, uh, there's always a, a problem in, in education. But there are places in the world that think that they're special. But they don't think that they're special because they think that they're greater. They think that the problem they have to face are specific to, to the location uh, or to, to the environment where they are. 
But it's important for them to understand that the question that they have to face are basically the same all around Africa and all around the world. But maybe they're expressed in different manners. So it's important for those kids to know that they're not only belonging to a certain culture, to a certain location, to a certain country, but they're belonging to something broader. So of course, when we're here in Kampala, they're informed about what happened in Dakar and about what happened in, in Abidjan. And, uh, and people at Letter of Intercity, for instance, have been creating a kind of a, a network through Facebook. I hope there's no copyright involved. Uh, that would link all those kids together and that would allow them to have some exchanges. Because artwork is not a, a kind of a process that would give grades to people. It's just a, yes, literally to put them at work. But then it's up to them to decide what they're going to do with whatever they were given or whatever they discovered. It seems to me even more important for those kids to start a dialogue among themselves than to, than to dialogue with their, their mentors, their tutors, their uh, facilitators. It's just to, for them to take their, their destiny in their own hands and not always to wait for somebody to bring them the solution. We're just giving them, this is uh, something that Deleuze used, he used the expression toolbox. We're just trying to provide them with a toolbox, and then it's up to them to build whatever they want with them. I think it's important for them to know that uh, wherever they are, they're connected to a larger community, and that they can share uh, problems, questions, but they can also share solutions. The themes uh, are uh, something very, very important. For the first edition of, uh, of artwork, um, the theme were, were left to, to the artist who was facilitating the workshop. Um, but for this, uh, this edition, uh, I wanted myself to see how it worked, and uh, I wanted to put myself at work concretely and to see the interaction, and actually to see what would work and what wouldn't work. Because again, there's a difference between theory and practice. For, for Kampala, and for any other artwork in fact, I always wish the theme to be something that is unexpected, that will force uh, the kids to wonder what the hell is it all about. We're dealing with kids who are uh, involved into art, into visual art, into design, into, into music, into sound, into making films. Um, I wanted them to know that any question is worth being thought about. There's no bad question, only answers are there. For Kampala, the theme was, should I take my shoes off? And of course, when we told them about the theme, they were all like, what is it all about? We think we're artists, we think we're creators. What does it has to do with shoes? And we were working on that theme for, for some days. And uh, it was interesting to see how, how they could open up and how they could relate that theme to their own practices. Oh, the measure of success is a kid who, who asked me a question that I did not expect. And it would be a kid that disrespects me a bit. I mean, that doesn't call me sir, sir, in a manner where in this relationship between a professor and a student, there's somebody who knows and somebody who doesn't know. I, I would say I'm uh, successful, we've been successful, the project has been successful. If those kids know that they can have a dialogue with me or with any other adult, specialist, uh, uh, equal, where we all together, but then, if you want to dialogue and if you want to balance, make sure you have something to say so that you will receive something in exchange. So, uh, yes, that would be it. And as, for, as far as Kampala is concerned, I can say that uh, from the moment I first met those kids in December to now, Thursday, one day before the end, I'm happy. I wouldn't call it a success. I'm happy and that's enough. And I see them, and I see the way they interact with themselves, among themselves, the way they interact with the others. I'm like, well, 
Maybe we've done something useful. <laughs>